What is something most people need to hear but no one has the guts to tell people? The video you're showing me isn't funny. I would never say it but god I hate fake laughing for 4 minutes. No. Some people are socially anxious and can be extremely compliant. Saying no won't hurt someone's feelings most of the time. Not everyone wants to be your friend. Nice does not mean loyalty. This goes double for co-workers. I can see your butt crack when you sit down or stand up. You need to bathe regularly. That they have disgusting breath. Some people aren't fit to be parents. It's okay to struggle with your mental health, but it's important that you get help for it in whatever way is best for you. Shut up and let people finish their sentences. Stop interrupting. Being an asshole isn't quirky. Every selfish act you do is affecting another person, or another living thing, in a negative way. You cut in line, you leave a shopping cart in the parking space, you littler makes another person's life just that much harder. Just because you have a position of authority, it does not mean you have the right to be rude to everyone beneath you. Edit, wow guys, just got back from work, thanks for the karma and LT, 3. Please go home from the party. I hate hosting and people won't leave. I don't love you anymore. Seriously if that's true, tell the person and don't string them along for years in a sham of a relationship just because you don't have the guts to tell the truth. Always be doing exactly what you want with the person you want to be with. When your significant other is cheating on you. Back when an ex-girlfriend of mine was cheating on me a bunch of people knew, but only one guy actually told me and I very much appreciated that. Just because you had a bad upbringing doesn't excuse you being a dick to other people. Edit, I can't reply to everyone but to those that are currently going through some shit slash have had a bad past, you can get through it, I believe in you. If we're standing in line at the post office and you absolutely must listen to a video on your phone, please put on headphones. No one else wants to listen to your political talk show or Jim Rome's hot take on the Browns offensive play calls. Chew with your mouth closed. It's considered rude to say this to someone but they really need to hear it. I'd want someone to tell me. To shut the fuck up during a movie. Edit gold. Um, thank you kind stranger. I'll now shut the fuck up. If for some reason you always find yourself surrounded by drama slash assholes slash bitches etc. Colon it's pretty likely you're the problem. You really should not have kids. Your MLM is just a thinly disguised pyramid scheme and it will never make you rich and you're an idiot for falling for it. You are in no way a small business owner. Not for most people, but the people who need to hear it really need to hear it. I don't care that you broke your elbow. If you want to be good at something, you can't just like it. You have to want to put effort into it. If you aren't, don't waste your time. Saying that's just the way I am is a pathetic way of avoiding growing out of poor behaviors and habits. Mold yourself, stretch yourself, make yourself better. Oi, ye got lettuce in your teeth. Stop giving unsolicited advice and making the conversation about you when someone talks about a problem they're having. Learn to listen. Luckily for me you solicited this advice. You are the cause of, and the solution to, most all of your problems. When you ask someone why don't you talk more, they are probably thinking why don't you talk less. Who you are is not who you are doomed to be. Just because I know you or you're from the same town as me doesn't mean I have to support you, your business, or your shitty music. Put in some work and make people care about what you're doing. Coping mechanisms and unhealthy habits may have helped you deal with a shitty childhood, but you're not a child anymore. It's time to get help and work on yourself. At the firehouse, dudes are absolutely brutally honest. Some of them have absolutely zero feelings of discomfort when confronting a dude that needs to change his shit up, from being a shitty firefighter to needing to close your mouth when you're chewing food. When it happens and I'm present to see it go down, it makes me want to melt into the chair or just get up and run out of the building. But it's usually so goddamn effective. Dudes straighten out the issue most of the time. People need to hear about their shittiness, in specifics. I'm glad there are guys out there that aren't afraid to do it. Cake days are meaningless. High school was a long time ago. We haven't aged well. In fact, we look like our parents. And I don't remember you. 
sorry, but I have to go or sorry, I can't talk right now. I hate when I'm out with my family and a customer from work spots me and wants to talk about work related stuff. I'm slowly learning to say sorry for keeping you, turn it around on them and they'll have no idea what to do. Works every time. Yes you have put on weight. This is me right now frown. Stop looking at your phone while driving. I just tell it how it is, and don't give a shit what anyone thinks, doesn't mean I'm bad ha ha. No, you are an asshole. If you complained less about others and focused on the good you'd probably be better off. Stop waiting for people to rescue you. Stop expecting friends to be freelance therapists. Helplessness drives everyone away but predators or enablers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.